been writing on tour also. Mm -hmm. How is that? How, how do you balance everything? Uh, you just try to find time mm -hmm. whenever you can. So um, we keep acoustics on the... We actually have to do a little performance later this month. So we've been rehearsing that. And in rehearsing that, we've just kind of always had these guitars around. Mm -hmm. And so everybody just grabs one. Everybody's got a riff or they're working on something or something or other. And then all it takes is a little bit of melody, maybe a couple of lyrics. Next thing you know, you're working on a different part. And it, it, it is simple, although it is difficult. Mm -hmm. But that's all it really takes is getting it started. And next thing you know, you've got a song. And, mm -hmm. And, or something to bring to the next step, which would be then uh, a demo process or recording process of some kind. Well, the other guys were talking about how for this album you only had a couple months yeah. to write with the songs, and now you're taking more time. What do you think that'll bring differently to the table for the album or the sound? Do you think it's... Um, I, I think... Are you noticing a difference? We know each other a lot more now. Okay. We know each other's musical styles and tastes, and, and I think... The last album was, was definitely us getting to know each other mm -hmm. and getting to kind of try and find our sound. And this new record is, that, that we're kind of writing for is going to be, is going to be us having found our sound and, and really cementing it and laying it down. So it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what comes out the other end. <coughs> you okay? <laughs> no, I'm deathly ill actually. I have a big lung infection. It's not contagious at all. <laughs> So how amazing does it feel though, to be touring across uh, Canada right now amazing. with Headley? Mm -hmm. What? How amazing. <laughs> Sorry. How great does it feel though right now to be touring across Canada, coast to coast, with, with your band and, <clears throat> and having your fans love it? Um, yesterday my, uh, we played Vancouver so my, and my yes. family lives there. So my mom and dad came out and just the look in their eyes is like, you know, proud, proud of my boy and all this stuff. My sister came and, and my brother-in-law and just seeing the looks on their faces, it's kind of like, okay, this is, uh, it felt great, you know, so. And being out with my friends, um, you know, just, you can, it's different than when you're a hired gun type of guy mm -hmm. on somebody else's tour, that's, that's good times too, but when you get to hang out with your friends every day and have a couple beers and travel on a bus and see each other naked, it's uh, It's, it's a life, great. right? Especially the nudity. Yeah. <laughs> Do you feel the same? Yeah, my, uh, my family's here today. They live in Penticton, and uh, it's it's awesome. It's what I mean when you're 16, playing your tennis racket in front of your mirror in your bedroom. You know, it's it's what everybody dreams of. Is I mean, to, just to get on stage at GM Place at home was crazy, ridiculous. Probably, right? Yeah, having my friends smiling at me from the crowd is it's awesome. I didn't think I'd be able to sing because I figured I'd have a big lump in my throat when I got up there. Oh, <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Oh, there's a moment. See. This is real. <laughs> this is real. Yeah, for real. For real? Yeah. yeah. Homie? I can't do that thing that Ali G does, but. I can't what's do that the, either. And they flip. that flip? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what yeah, Chris is doing right West now. West Coast. You got it. I don't know what Chris yeah. is doing right now. Neither do I. That's why I'm not really. Yeah. West Edmonton Mall. Bus. Oh, gold. Looks like puppies. Oh. Young puppies. Young puppies. <laughs> uh, what was the? But we were talking about, and I'd have you phrase it, but you guys, oh, that's that's hot. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, talking about the fact that you guys have been playing for mm. years, as long as I've known you, you guys have been in bands. That's how we met. That's true. And this is like, this is your thing. Like you were doing yeah. things with other people and supporting other bands. <coughs> Or doing things that, you know, went out faster, you know. And now it's finally come to a, yeah, exactly. a point where it's, yeah, where it's something that, that looks like it's going to really right. be something Stay, that we're going to do the rest of our lives type of thing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah um, I think everybody has taken it really seriously. Uh, not that you didn't take it seriously before, but everybody quickly perked up and went, oh, okay, we're on to something here. Because everybody we got to work with in the, in the process, right from the, the demo process right on up to, you know, finally, oh, who are we going to get to produce and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Everybody who got turned on to it was like, really? Oh, okay, well, I could maybe do that if I, you know what, I'll cancel this big band. Instead of doing them, I'll work with these guys because they really saw something. And we, we caught on to that right away. We were like, okay, if these people are interested in us, we must, do, we must be doing something right. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, as a result, we've taken it really seriously. And uh, I think everybody just believes in it, you know? Yeah. yeah. I think the biggest difference for me... Uh, coming from the other bands and, and, and being in this one is that, that everyone that surrounds this organization 
like right from the record label to uh, to management to to the guys in the band to our crew, I I don't think there's a bad person in the whole lot of them, and I think that's I think that's half the reason why on this project the stars are just aligning for us. Mm -hmm. Everything seems to be so. It just seems to be meant to be. Everything's falling into place really quickly, and and everything's running like it should. And I think it's just because there's such a positive vibe around it, and such good people involved in from every aspect. In other projects I've been in, you know, you, you hear the cliche of, of bad people in the music industry. Well, there's there's a fair share of them, and I, I think in the other projects that I, I worked with, there was always that kind of element tainting it somewhere in the chain and, and in this one it's just straight up front to back good people it's a good organization and uh, it, it just works